Hey guys, I wanted to do a live demonstration on YouTube today to show what products you should probably sell on Etsy and uh, what are most likely going to get you the most sales and what are going to get you the least sales, if any sales whatsoever. All right, the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people, and I've said this before, but a lot of people treat Zazzle the same way they treat other platforms, especially if you're a beginner, maybe you've never used any other platform. You're going to do what's basic knowledge to you. And most people make this mistake when it comes down to Zazzle. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you a few examples of some designs you don't want to upload to Zazzle to expect to make a full time income. All right. Let me explain. So here are some really, really cool designs that I feel I think they're cool that I created. Right. And I created them actually live on a YouTube video. All right. So this is an example of like some some soldier, you know, it gives like an epic vibe and you have the keyword uh, or a word here that says relentless. All right. Here we have another um, like ninja style Mortal Kombat kind of guy. And it says here, go rogue. Pretty cool. Here we have another design that says top of the food chain. Here we have um, another design with some epic elements to it that says live by the sword, die by the sword. Here we have another just a verse from the uh, book of Matthew here and uh, just a design there and it's actually related to this so the, the same you know same thing um, and then here we have a poster that says a hero's journey etc you know a bunch of different elements I actually created this poster live like I said so this is nothing crazy I created this other poster live we have many secrets and this was in a YouTube video so I created this whole thing live the, the, the elements everything in it okay out of all these different posters, which poster or design do you think will make the least money? And which poster do you think makes the most money in Zazzle? And, and this question, I want you to think very critically. I want you to think very, very critically. And I want you to come up with an answer. All right, so I'm going to show you them again. We got this design. We got this design. We got this design. Okay. We got this design. And we got this design. And finally, this design and this design. All right. Which poster do you think will make the most? Which poster do you think will make the least? On Zazzle. All right. And now, okay, I'm going to give you the answer. And the answer is maybe, maybe, if there was one poster that's going to make the most money, it would either be this one. Or it'll be this one. And it doesn't matter if you put it on a t-shirt. It doesn't matter. What you put it on doesn't, doesn't matter. The point here is, honestly, it has nothing to do with the design. All these designs are good. Even, th well, this design is not that good. There's nothing special about it. I, I think this is a nice design. This is a nice design. But most of these designs would not make any money, no matter how beautiful the design they are. And the reason why is because this is not Redbubble. This is not Tee Public. This is not some sort of uh, uh, marketplace where you could just sell a design in that kind of way. This is Zazzle. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? For every, I mean, yeah, sure, you could sell these, but the reality is, is that it's not probable to sell this. Somebody might ask me, is it possible to get sales with these designs? For sure, it's possible. But is it probable? I would say most likely from a realistic standpoint, maybe like there's a 2% chance that they would sell. Now, you're probably sitting here and saying, what? 2%? I mean, these designs look pretty decent. Why is it only 2%? Well, the whole point here is, is because Zazzle as a platform is a customizational based platform. I'm going to say this a thousand times. Whenever I make a Zazzle video, all right, I want you guys to understand that it's a customizational based platform, all right? And what a customizational based platform is, is that let's just say this is me, okay? I'm buying some sort of graduation product, you know, you guys get the point. Anyways, I'm buying graduation product. I want to customize it. So if this was a product that I wanted to buy, a modern vertical photo graduation invitation. Let's just say I was throwing a graduation party for my daughter, for example. I would customize this i would you know put certain photos on here change the words change the address of the party right change the year the class of the year change the uh, name of the school these kind of things that makes logical sense well out of zazzle 
and I'm just going to make up a number here, but I'm going to say mostly based on my sales, like 94% of my sales come from customizational based designs. Okay. These designs here are not customizational. Like what can you really do to a design like this that will customize it in the same way that Zazzle's is. Okay. If you think that just by putting somebody's name on this or something like that is customized, it's really not, okay? It has to be something where it's applied, like it has to make sense. Uh, graduation cards, invitations, business cards, these are different examples of customizational-based designs that work on Zazzle that make the most of the money. Now, if you want to sell on Zazzle, you have to make customization your first priority. You have to think logically, how am I going to create designs that sell? Now, I want to be clear. If I take, for example, this design, okay, which is like a picture of a butterfly, can it sell? Yes, it could. But is it possible? I mean, is it likely? Out of all the different designs on Zazzle, out of all the different transactions on a daily basis, this design will not make me money if I just leave it the way it is. And when I say make me money, please, guys, understand the position that I'm talking about. I'm talking about make a reliable income. I'm not talking about $2 here, $5 here. I'm talking about full time. We're talking about at least, a per, you know, if I was to make designs like this and more designs in this kind of category, we're talking at least $4,000 a month. Can I do, can I win? Can I make $4,000 a month doing stuff like this? The answer is probably not. I'm going to have to work my butt off to make that happen. If I really wanted to use this in a design, what I would do is figure out how ca I can apply it to a product, okay? So I made the video before. I literally spoke about it uh, within this week. I don't, I don't know how long ago, but I showed how to tag properly, and I showed how to reverse engineer what people are looking for. There are some people out there on Zazzle who use Zazzle who are looking for rainbow uh, baller, oh, colored butterflies on their, for example, graduation invitation. That might be a case. It might be a rare case, but it's still a case. In that case, I could potentially make money off the design. But if I was just going to slap it on a t-shirt, this is not Redbubble. It's not going to work. It's not going to, it's not going to really, really generate a lot of sales. And when I say it doesn't work, once again, I'm not talking about make a few dollars here and there. I'm talking about making a significant amount that people could really take and walk away with and could replace with their jobs. Most people, I mean, I'm doing the math, uh, average uh, medium income in America, I don't know, what is it, like 40K or something, $40,000 a month. If you're making 4,000 4, uh, before taxes, that's four times 12, that's 48. So I'm just saying the point here is with everything that I'm saying is if you really want to make some income, you have to really pay attention to how the platform works, right? And I'm not saying that to insult, I'm just being realistic. The only time I could put this on a t-shirt with no real customization or anything like that and make money is if I win off of SEO. And that's hard to do because I don't control Zazzle. There's not much SEO I could really do. Other than the keyword search, adding the right title, there's not much I can move the needle on. Meaning, if I own Zazzle.com, I could write a blog and connect that product to a blog. I can make sure I can configure the, the keywords to make sure it ranks higher in the ranking. But other than that, there's not much I could do if I don't own Zazzle, like the Zazzle website. And I don't. All I could do is really just put products out there. Now, Zazzle as a whole actually loses to other websites like Redbubble, for example, for SEO. So uh, Redbubble's SEO is stronger than Zazzle's is. There's many reasons behind that. I don't care. We're not sitting here talking about what's better through SEO. It doesn't matter. The point here is, is that Zazzle already has a large audience around a certain concept, and that concept is customizational-based products. For example, let's go with the necklace-type products. If I had a... Um, an anniversary or something coming up and I want to buy uh, that special someone necklace or what, whatever it is, I'm going to go through Zazzle with that. And there's a bunch of customers, like I said, who know about Zazzle for that specific reason. So they find something that they like, let's just say a necklace, okay? They want to customize it, okay? They jump on a product. Uh, let's just say it's a pre-made design. Let's, let's go to a pre-made design by a different seller. Let's go with something like this. And they customize it. So they go over here, hit personalize, they personalize their thing, everything's great, right? And then they buy it. Zazzle has a huge customer base of this already, and they get a ton of already organic search, okay? So we want to utilize that movement. That's what Zazzle specializes in, and it's wise 
to promote to put products on Zazzle what actually generates income all right so I'm not sitting here saying that you can't create a design like this and won't make money off it but if you find a way to customize the design you find a way that people can use it for personalization then you're bringing your designs to the next level all right a lot of times people say to me how can I uh, you know essentially make sales on Zazzle I've been selling for a week I've been selling for a month I've been selling for three months whatever it is I don't make money well, you're going to have to run, you're going to run into some issues. You got to figure out what the issue is and you have to be able to decipher what the issue is and how to fix it. One issue might be traffic. If traffic is your issue and what does traffic mean? It means the amount of people that come visit your design. Okay. If traffic is your issue, right? And it's, I mean, if you're not getting sales, you're, you're probably not getting traffic. I mean, nine times, like with Zazzle is, is really not much of a negotiation, if traffic is your issue, you have two solutions. You have you could either start working on acquiring traffic, meaning social media, marketing, all that kind of stuff. Honestly, you don't need to, not for Zazzle. Or, okay, if you're doing things right, meaning you're tagging properly and the design is is in correlation with what the audience wants, and you're still not getting enough traffic, then you're probably not in the right audience, like in the right niche. You know what I'm saying? You have to create a different design. There's a lot of different things. So. You have to be able to decipher what the issue is and you have to fix it. But I can tell you the number one issue, like I said, that most people do when they go into Zazzle is they're not creating these customizational type products. What they're doing is they're creating products like this. Like I said, they're taking something like this, they're slapping on a t-shirt and hoping that it sells. That would work on Redbubble. That would work with Merch by Amazon. That would not work with Zazzle. And when once again, I'm just being clear, when I say work, I'm not, I'm not talking about making 20 bucks or 50 bucks or 10 bucks over a design over a year. I'm talking about making $4,000 a month, every month. And for people that think that's crazy and that's not a lot of money, I mean, you got to re-ask yourself what kind of goals and expectations you have of yourself. I don't get into a business to make 20 bucks a month. That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I do things very seriously, uh, which, like I said, that's why it took me a while to get into Zazzle. That's why it took me a while to become successful. I've said this before, but the fr and I have no shame in saying it. The first three months I was on Zazzle, I didn't make a dime. I didn't make any money, not even a single sale, but I was working hard and I was treating it the same way I was treating Redbubble. Just other platforms seemed to work better for me at the moment because I wasn't used to Zazzle. Zazzle is a one of a kind, right? I think one of the reasons that I came out hell's blazing on, on, uh, on, um, on T Public, and I did fin very, very financially well the first month. I over a thousand dollars in income just on T Public the first month, is because I treated T Public like it was Redbubble, and what I did was I took my best designs and I slapped them on T Public and I, you know, made money, and I found the right way to tag and I did all that kind of stuff. But with Zazzle, I was treating Zazzle the same way I was treating other platforms, and I realized that that was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake because they're not the same platform, and the dynamics are different. You know, if I was to give, let's just say, Redbubble a similarity like to another platform, I would say uh, Merch by Amazon. And Merch by Amazon is even more similar to Public, okay, because of the style of the design, uh, the, the way you can, you know, with the, tea, the algorithms, the purchasing, things like that. Even Redbubble has a strong algorithm that's similar to Merch by Amazon's, you know, works off of a review system for Amazon. And those reviews come from a best, you know, the more sales you get, the sales come from a bestseller ranking, right? And that's Amazon. But when you're dealing with Redbubble, you're dealing with keyword relevancy, of course, like every other platform. But you're also dealing with sales. You're dealing with favorites. You're dealing with a lot of things. With Zazzle, you're dealing with those keywords of what people are currently actively looking for. And the chances is you're not going to get lucky most of the time. You're not going to get lucky with somebody just happen to search on Zazzle a product like that. People don't search for things like that on Zazzle. They look for things that they can customize. And once again, if you do get sales for a product that's not really customizable or doesn't have a personalization element, you're just going to probably make the money off SEO. So somebody who's searching on Google for that specific design, and it just so happens that Zazzle ranks for it. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. So hopefully you don't make this mistake after this video. Hopefully it's abundantly clear and go out and get that money. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.